Hi everyone! So, uh, yeah, the painting is already done. <laughs> a little bit of a different intro today uh, because, let's be honest here, I forgot to turn the microphone on. Um, I guess uh, I lost a, a little bit of the habit uh, while I was um, vacationing in Canada. But yeah, I'm back and I'm here and I'm going to paint. Well, I have already painted, but I'm going to show you how I did this. Um, hopefully it interests you. I mix my paints the usual way um, to do this, uh, except the paints, well, the gray, which is a mix of zinc white and paints gray. I picked paints gray because it's a blue-gray. It's a mix of Mars black and ultramarine blue. And I decided to uh, make it contrast with a lot of orange. And I thought that it's going to look interesting, especially because gray uh, tends to intensify, uh, tends to intensify, yeah, <laughs> those contrasts. And um, yeah, I can't wait to see how it will dry. And yeah, I also mixed fluorescent blue, fluorescent orange, high floor products. Those I mixed one part. I fluid acrylics to 10 part medium and I also mixed fluid acrylics. Uh, the fluid acrylics I now mix uh, two parts paint to 8 part medium, so 20% paint to 80% medium. Um, they still come out as colorful, as bright, especially with golden acrylics. Uh, they're so heavily pigmented, it's just wonderful. And yeah, two heavy body acrylics as well, uh, teal and uh, Helios magenta, I think. Uh, it's from Senerie, the magenta, and uh, it's some quinacolone pigment, not sure which one by heart like that, but they tend to name their colors uh, funky names. And uh, the heavy body paint, I mixed uh, the same usual way, 50-50 paint medium and then 25% water. And yeah, that's, uh, oh yeah, the gray. I mixed a little bit of paint gray, paints gray with zinc white. Um, I basically mixed uh, until I liked the gray. <laughs> So I'm not sure the percentage uh, of uh, paints gray to zinc white, but I mixed it before I added my medium. I feel like it works better that way. You would tend to avoid clumps too. Especially that the paints gray is a heavy body paint. So I mixed those before and basically I put the paints gray in and I added zinc white until I liked the gray. And after that, I mixed uh, that mix to about 40% paint to 60% medium uh, ratio. Uh, I want to keep, I wanted to keep the gray heavy to get cells like these, and um, yeah, that's about it. I think I've covered it, uh, and yeah, as I mentioned. Uh, I came back from vacation, that's why I don't have any video posting for, um, for uh, a little bit now. I don't have enough video uh, prepared in advance and uh, I thought I would film there, but in the end I just uh, ended up uh, enjoying the moment. I did paint while I was there with friends and my family too, and yeah, I enjoyed just painting for the fun of it. Uh, it was fun and teaching my friends to just face to face it made me realize uh, the questions that people ask uh, usually and yeah it was cool and yeah so I'll zoom you in and paint <laughs> a bit weird I know but bear with me I'm getting uh, back in the rhythm all right so I will start by pouring my gray
All right. Oh, nice. The window. Still haven't done anything about it. All right. So we'll start by our larger lines. We'll still be able to see what I want to do. Then there's a reflection, which I'm really sorry about. So, a little bit of fluorescent blue, a little bit of primary blue, a little bit of teal, a little bit of um, green. Not a lot of colors, because we know that we really don't need a lot of color to get an effect, especially with the flip and drag, well, or just a drag, funnel drag in this case. Now, other end of the spectrum, a bit of orange, fluorescent orange, oops. A little bit of pink there. Pink. And now we have this small dude. I'm not sure what I want to do with it. And the thing is, because of the angle of the thing, the funnel, I have to pour it at an, at an angle. So the paint don't all run out of it. So it's going to be interesting, I guess.
So now what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of detail in the middle. And maybe where detail is lacking, maybe help them reach the edge. Or maybe even interlap some colors. So yeah, I don't think this video needs a time lapse. I think it's going to move. As I said, I just came back. I'm a bit at a loss here. I felt like painting, but I couldn't find everything and I I got tired of searching. <laughs> and one of the things I couldn't find was my level. So um not sure if I am leveled. Hopefully I am. Hopefully what I'm hoping is uh, the weight of the paint will make the paint move towards the middle a little bit. Um, and then I'm hoping it dries uh, correctly too, because, you know, there's a lot of paint on there. <laughs> and it's a big canvas too. So I'm hoping, well, it will dry correctly, and I'm hoping the weight of the paint isn't too much in the middle. Um, so, yeah. I like this though. It's a bit chaotic, but I love it. I love the black, well, the gray uh, negative space. I think it looks nice. There's a lot of movement in this painting. That is really nice too. A lot of cells too. Um, I've been a bit surprised that this part here didn't sell up at all, but the rest did. Uh, I'm not sure what I did wrong there. Or right, because I like all those lines. You know me. I would say it's a happy accident. <laughs> but it's just a little bit sad because it doesn't match all the rest. But I'm loving it. I think it looks nice. I think it's interesting. I think uh, there's a lot to look at. I think there's uh, an interesting something going on. Uh, yeah, can't wait for it to dry too, uh, see how the colors will contrast with the gray, all the gray will contrast with the colors. Uh, I think it's going to be quite interesting, and I can't wait to see that. So, yeah. And we are back. And I'm a really happy painter, I'm really happy with the, how this turned out. Um, Got a bunch of cells, really happy about that. Got a bunch of details too, really happy about that. <laughs> and I think that the drips at some places look really wonderful. Um, but I'm quite intrigued by this part here. Like, no cells much, but lines and lacing a little bit in it, and I love it. Um, love the, how the magenta is uh, popping up. Uh, I think this uh, painting is really nice. The orange contrasts with the blue and the gray. The green contrasts with the pink. And the teal is just a little bit in between. It adds a little something, I think. So, it's a bit um, visually charged, but the movement and everything, uh, the 
spreading an outwards motion um, really makes it look really makes it look interesting. I'm quite in love with the details I got in the middle with the the pencil at the end where with the spiral and the lines. Got a bunch of lines and broke up those lines in a f cool way. Anyway. Really happy painter, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm happy uh, to paint. <laughs> well, as I said, I've painted um, in Canada too with friends, and I enjoyed it. I brought back a whole bunch of supplies too. Uh, let me know if you guys would be interesting in, uh, interested in a vlog uh, where I show you uh, the box of supply that I brought back. And other than that, quite happy with this little experiment. I'm quite happy I found this uh, tiny funnel. I think it could make an uh, interesting painting in the future. And yeah, I could have just made the whole painting with the small funnel, I think. But that is something that I can try in the future. So yeah, uh, on that note, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. Make sure to subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!